Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry, this is me going Q4 of the weekly contest 374. Count the number of infection sub, uh, sequences. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me in Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. Uh, this one is very mathy, obviously, but, uh, but it's not that bad and I like it as a math problem, but it is a little bit tricky to get it right as a programming thing. I ended up spending half an hour, which felt longer than I thought, but... But, uh, and I got two wrong answers as well, but those are silly wrong answers, so I don't feel that bad about it. One of the wrong answers is, well, it's lead codes for, I bring my lead code, so I'm not going to, um, we'll talk about that in a sec, but um, what was the first one? Oh yeah, the first one I just had, an, hmm, I just missed an if statement, so I think that was pretty silly, uh, even though conceptually it's okay. Remember, this is a mod problem, mod, 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 but yeah, the idea here, and not gonna lie, uh, if you don't know the background behind this, it's gonna be tricky. And I'm and I'm also uh, gonna f for a disclaimer, disclaimer and a prerequisite at you, which is that uh, I'm not gonna go with this problem in that deep of detail, in the sense that, in the combinatoric sense. I'll go over how I derived my, how I solved it, but, uh, but a lot of this requires just, like you have to learn the math, right? Uh, this is a math problem, you have to learn the math, and, you know, like, and, and you know, doing a lot of practice and, and having a, uh, 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 an understanding of the problem, but uh, of these sorts of problems uh, will, you know, but uh, d d like, I don't think I, um, and especially not today, I don't think I can go over everything at a base level just because do we find a lot of this stuff is like a, a, a junior level combinatorics course, uh, maybe like, you know, to, something you learn over two or three lectures or something. I don't know how things are taught these days, to be honest. So uh, excuse me if I'm wrong. But, uh, and it's not like, it's not hard once you reason it out, but it's just that you have to learn it, right? Uh, so I'm not gonna go over all the math. or I'm not gonna go over the basis of the math. I'm gonna go over uh, how I thought about this problem and making the observations and jumping to the math part of it. Um, so this one, it took me a while to kind of think about it. I think the first observation is that you can think about the initial sick children, which is also a kind of a weird thing to uh, 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 write a problem about. They don't have to be children. They don't even have to be sick. You know, they could be just bacteria or something. I don't know, right? But in any case, um, yeah, you can think of uh, the way that I thought about it is, oh, they're barrier, right? Because no matter how whichever ordering that you do, um, cause, cause the way that I was thinking about it was almost like, um, I was trying to draw a dependency graph, right. Of like, okay, you know, maybe like a topological sort number of top, uh, number of topological sorting or something like this. Right. So when I, when I, I, I was some, thinking of something like, okay, well, let's say there's one and 10 and N is something big. It doesn't even matter. Right. Um, then I go, okay, well, uh, let's say for the number five. Right, or, or I'm trying to figure out when we can do five. Well, five will go be, uh, after four or six, right? So, so I was trying to think about like, oh, can I draw a dependency graph that this way? But then I was like, eh, it's not easy because then you go from left to right. And I think at some point a light bulb just came over my head and I go, okay, well, actually, because five is constrained to be within this, um, and in that. I think there was a, a moment, if you look at the live portion, which is long, I know, you don't have to watch all of it. But I think I was just like, oh, these examples are crap. And what I mean by that isn't that the examples are good at explaining, but they don't illustrate the one key point that I needed, which is that um, once you think about these num uh, the initial students or what, children or whatever as the writers, um, then you, you, know, you have like multiple of them, which is the part that I thought would, you know, illustrate more is that all the numbers within, let's say all the numbers here are X and all, the, all here X, you know, Y's and Z's, right? In this case, um, all, all these problems are independent of each other, right? And what I mean by that is that xs ys cs the order you do xs and ys like they don't affect each other right 
uh, meaning that if you do six first, it doesn't matter if you do six first, 11 will not be affected, right? Uh, or like you could, or it doesn't change the dependency graph, if you want to call it that, of y's and x, right? So yeah, so if you do a six, it doesn't change how or they do it. So the way that I thought about it, and this is now the combinatorial part, um, is thinking about, okay, well, how many ways, so, so okay, so just, let me jump back for a second, right? So from that, uh, uh, I did know that um, this was a note, um, this, this is a very common thing. Uh, what's it called? It, it's kind of like, um, it, it's, well, the, the official thing is called like multinomial distribution or, or multinomial uh, um, thing. But, but it basically, it's, um, hmm. I, I think there's like another cooler name to it, but I don't remember off my head right now and I can't find it in, quickly. But yeah, but, but the idea here is that now given this, you can treat, so one way to think about this is treat all the numbers inside X and Y is the same. So then now you have um, XS plus YS plus CS factorial, that's the number of numbers of them. So maybe the length of this, if you want to write some pseudo uh, code, right? And then that is just over length of XS factorial, uh, times length of ys factorial times length of zs factorial because the, the reason why you can do this is that you just treat all the x and y and z the same right so then now what, what, what this is saying is um, treating all x x the same as each other so that um, and so forth um, it, it basically uh, um, yeah, it's basically, it's a very uh, standard combinatorial problem of like, okay, let's say you have n, n things and you have, let's say you have n balls, you have three red ones, four green ones, and five blue ones. So I don't know, I think the math adds up a little bit wrong, but yeah, uh, this is how you would figure out how many ways are there to pick out the ball out of, or order them or put them out of hat or whatever, basically, number of ways you can order them. This is, uh, I'm not gonna go over the proofs or understand or explanation for this one, my apologies, but uh, because like I said, there are a lot of things that are, uh, they're very, this is a very well studied and well uh, learned um, topic, so I'm not gonna go over it. Uh, and also uh, my my uh, my excuse is that I'm, I'm kind of tired today, so that's that's my fault. But, uh, but yeah, and I, so this is just a, a a very basic core thing. And that said, I don't think I would expect this on an interview. Uh, I think I, I said this a little bit later in, later in the video, but yeah, but this is this is too math for you. So maybe you're applying to hedge fund or something funky, maybe, maybe, but, uh, but otherwise I wouldn't expect this. Uh, but yeah, and then now then the K, now this is basically, uh, this gives, gives you, gives you the, number of sequences of x y z's right and of course this generalizes to more more distinct things but i'm just using x y z's to example so now you have x you know you have some common uh some sequence right that that basically this is one example of a sequence uh and there could be many more i mean there is many more in, in fact there are many more in fact uh and then now the 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 kind the way to kind of go back up and is that okay so then now um you can think about this as one way to do it but how many ways so then that that is if all the x's are the same right if all x's are the same y's z's etc right um but in this case they're not right so how do we think about this? The idea here for me, or like how do we count how many how many ways are there to um, how many ways are there to count x uh, x's? No, what? Uh, to how many ways are there to order the x's? Right, the x's. Not this thing anymore. 
anymore. So that, that's a second problem that you have to solve with this one. And for me, the way that I thought about it, and there may be other visualizations, I, I don't know, uh, is that, okay, so let's say you have, you know, let's say you have uh, 5 and 17, right? So then now you have 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, right? Uh, I, I might have messed up. Uh, I'm at 16, okay, so there are 10 numbers, there we go, right? The way that I thought about it is that, okay, so you have this, then how many ways are there to order these? So then I just go, okay, you have to go, um, you can either choose the first one case, first number, you either choose the left one or the right one, right? So left or right, and then the second one, you can all just choose left or right and dot, dot, dot. And as you can see, you go, oh, let, let's choose the left, and then, oh, you choose the right, and then right, and then left, and then right, and so forth. So that will give you a sequence of the numbers. Right? So like 6, 15, 7, 8, 14. Like this is just corresponding to L, left, right, left, left, right, right, something like this, right? So how many ways are there? Well, if this has N numbers, uh, yeah, N numbers, then we have... 2 to the n minus 1, right? Uh, ways to order this. Um, the reason is because the last number, you don't, this, on the last number, there's no left and right. It's just the last number, right? So you just take it. And every other number, you could choose the left one or the right one. Or you can think about it as big or small, but either way, same idea. That's the way that I thought about it during the virtual contest. Um, and then, so, so that's basically it. And then now, if this is the way to order x, you, you repeat it for y's and z's and so forth. Um, there's only one more edge case, so the edge case is literally on the edge, right? So that means that, um, yeah, like let's say you have, let's say your first sick child is 5, then now you have to figure out how to affect 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then, but that's easy because you have no choice to the right. So all your choices are from the left, so you have to go 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. So that means that in this case, there's only one way to order um, the edges. So your edge cases are actually kind of simple, though I think I messed it up anyway because I am me. <laughs> but yeah, that's basically the, the structure and thing to go about this. I think this one, this part, if you understand the other parts, should be a pretty straightforward um, race if you want to solve a heart. And here is a multinomial thing. Um, which, I mean, it's not hard if you have learned it. If you haven't learned it, it's a little bit tricky. And so, I mean, you know, it is what it is. Um, but yeah. Oh, yeah, on implementation. So I'm, I'm so tired. My eyes are blinking. I can't keep them open. Uh, yeah, so originally I had something like this. Oops. Oops. To, to be honest. But, uh, but this times out because lead code is uh, n plus 1, I think. But this times out because lead code is silly, so I had to take it out, and so that it runs, basically it pre-calculates all these and in, in only runs once, but that's a really crappy optimization, and that's just lead code's fault. I don't know what to make of it. But uh, but yeah, let's... Uh, oh, and uh, I forgot about this. Uh, and there's also mod things, right? So for this... I don't have time to go over it now. I'm sorry, I'm just too tired. But uh, just look over modular inverse uh, for the division, right? Because basically the idea is that uh, under mod, you could uh, x times y mod is you could, you know, you could mod times y mod, something like this, right? Uh, but this, not a thing. You have to do something called x times uh, y prime mod, uh, where where y prime is the inverse or modular inverse, sorry, modular inverse of y. So that's basically the idea. I'm not gonna go over it. This requires too much uh, math for me to go over, uh, even on a good day. So uh, yeah. Otherwise, uh, so basically now I set up you know all of these. So oops fact of i is you go to uh, i factorial and I, I fact i is you go to uh, 1 over i factorial under under mod Oops. okay let's pretend you 
you know, uh, I explained everything correctly for this point, and you understand it, which I, I know that I skipped it, but, uh, but yeah. Uh, and, but after that, it becomes pretty straightforward in, in concept. Uh, I, I, I put it in counts, but you don't even need, need to. But basically, I look at adjacent uh, numbers. If the, if the number is greater than zero, we can just add it to the count. This is the total number of things that we're ordering, and this is basically uh, how many things th that we um, that that's in that division. Uh, you know, this is basically here the number of numbers that you care about to order it. Uh, you can also put them in one loop. I, I think I kind of did this in a funky way, but eh. yeah. And this is the checking uh, the borders if if uh, yeah if it's not zero and if it's not n minus one. Though I guess technically I. I didn't need to, but uh, but yeah, but this is just to count the edges, right? To add it to total. Uh, and and actually, I guess total. I, I I guess I did this a little bit weird. I think total is just uh, is just actually n minus length of sec, right? So eh, so I guess maybe we don't need all this. <laughs> maybe double check that I'm not lying to you. Yeah, so actually, yeah, you can simplify it that way. And of course, you can also simplify, now that you have that, you can simplify it this way by, doo -doo 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 -doo, right, so it comes. You can actually move, move this here. And you can actually move this here as well. Oh, this is a different x, right? So let's say t is equal to, Minus x minus one and do this, right? Let's also make sure that I'm still not lying to you. Let's wait a minute. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, and this is what we're saying, except for that we did it at, at one at the same time. This is the inverse factorial. This part is just uh basically this part of each component. We already did the factorial of total, which is the top, right? That's just all the numbers together. Uh, and here we have to basically, if, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically this is just um, looking at the edges. We have to divide out all the unique cases for the edges. Uh, and that's pretty much it, because uh, this is, basically still this part, but for the edges, right? Because uh, we're over, uh, we're undercounting it, with, or we're over counting it if we don't. So yeah, uh, that's pretty much all I have for this one. This is obviously linear time. Uh, I mean, depends on how you want to count this, because this, I guess this is linear actually, because this this go, only goes up to n. Well, depends how you want to say if n is, because n is technically not the input size. So uh, o, let's just say it's O of n. <laughs> Uh, o of n, and yeah, uh, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, this is pretty much the entire code. Just want to make sure that I show you. Uh, yeah, you can watch me solve it live in the contest now. Uh, I'll optimize it later, maybe. Let's, let's at least do this one. All right. I saw a mod, that's why I'm just going to... How much time do I have left? 40 minutes, okay. That's a reasonable amount of time, maybe. Uh, sick, which sort of increasing order. What the... What, what is this problem? <laughs> All right. Uh, if they exist and are not currently in fact. Hmm. Look, people have gotten it now. Hmm. A good amount, I guess, for Q4. Like, 59 people. Maybe I could be one of those 60th people. 
Uh, okay. And it's pretty big. Okay. Hmm. This is a thinking problem, so BRP. I mean, you'll see me. I'm not hiding. I'm gonna get a get some water while thinking. And by water, I mean just whatever Capri soda that I got here. Was I need to plug in my power? Didn't think I would need to know this long. Okay. Give me some power charger. Am I plugging in right? So it's an increasing order, okay. This is DP. Oh, is it Mac? I'm also eating a snack. Sorry, friends. You have to watch me eat this. It's very late. Um, I mean, this, I don't think there's any way to misunderstand this. I just don't know that I know how to do it. Okay. <clears throat> the examples are not great. That's why. Because basically the, the sick children are separated. So then you basically have an, a sequence of choice. Right? Maybe? Okay, so, I mean, so that's up. That's idea one. Is that all the decisions are independent with respect to that?
Well, no, that's not quite right. Nope. No, that's right. Well, basically, each interval has two to the i choice or whatever. And then you have to interleave them in some way. Right? I have to think about the math. I think I have an idea. I have to think about the math. Two to the I come from the fact that you can choose that to the left or the right from the perspective of the chunk. Okay, so then now you have X chunks, right? Then what? How do you interleave them? Okay, let's say you have one chunk. <clears throat> is it, uh, this is one chunk. Can I do my math right? Is it so zero and four? There's three numbers in between. 2 to the 3 is 8. Um, what am I thinking? Why is it not 8? Left, 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 right, left, left, right, right. Oh, uh, left, right, left is the same as left, right, left. Okay. But it's not quite to the eye. So the last one is not a choice. That's fine. So two to the I minus one, that makes it easier. How do we interleave them? <clears throat> How do we interleave them? Let's say you have two and two to the eight. Okay. You have a combination. It's like a star in bars, man. <laughs> so, okay, no, no, so you have eight factorial over four factorial over four factorial. A distinctness, and then you times it by two to the okay. So just it becomes a multinomial thing, right? Okay, fine. Okay, fine. Uh... Don't forget the model, Larry. You. Messed this up before. Oh. Mm, what that? Right. 
over. I always, I always forget the syntax for inverse mod, that's why, in Python. That looks about right, actually. Yeah, because this times two will be... Right. Oh, yeah. yeah, that sounds right. This times three should be right. Is that right? No, no, this should be six because it's factorial. But, okay. That well, looks right. <coughs> Sorry, friends. All right, and then now what am I doing? And we got this, we got this, we got this. I just have to 20, I have 28 minutes. Um, but, uh, all right. Um, all right, so. If. And the smallest number is zero, then what do we do? We have to sort, I mean it tells that they were sorted. Uh, if it's zero, then that's good. If not, then we have an end problem. So then now, okay, fine, right? Okay, well that would be good. Special case, uh, I mean, fine, 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 fine. Multiply the parties, right? Multiplying parties. All right. Okay, that's fine. Okay, that's fine. is going to be equal to total factorial and then the bottom is going to be the components of all this stuff but it's missing some stuff it's missing the ends really so if Do this first. And then now, okay, so this is missing the ends. And now we have to handle it separately, right? So if uh, sec of zero is equal to, is it equal to or not equal? If it's not equal, if it's equal to zero, then it should already be in there. So if it's not equal to zero, we have to do the ends. So then we have to times it by i factorial of 
sec of zero nine minus one maybe five yeah then if sec of the previous number is not equal to n minus one and So this is right if it is n minus one, then this would be zero. It's n minus two, and this would be one. Okay, I think that's right. Kind of right. <coughs> and now, um, two. I think that's it, and we want to do some mods. Oh, why not? Mm, that's clearly not right, right? <laughs> uh, what are you doing? Oh, because there are ends. They're both ends, right? Uh, so what's what's it doing here? Oh, if this, I, I just didn't add it to the total. That's a. Um, hmm. That's not great, is it? So zero twenty three. That means should be about total two is wrong. Hmm. n minus one what I can two on the left side we're getting zero so that's no already no good uh sickle minus one right sickle minus one one is them oh oh huh oh, that's actually interesting I did have an off by one, but not in the way in the I thought it would be in the other direction. Um okay. Is this right yet? I don't know. Let, let's do four two should give me the same answer, right? For symmetry. So okay, that's good at least. Alright, let's give it some red, yellow some red. Yeah, it's taking too long to be right. Gonna give me a crazy case. Uh, I thought it was gonna give me a crazy case, but it's not. This is actually kind of sad because I feel like, uh, like I feel like I should have known this one, but hmm. or like should have tested this one. Why is that wrong though? This is the same as this one. It's giving me a total of three, so that's right. It's doing a zero factorial thing or something. So, okay. Oh, zero one is not the same as this one. Uh, okay, so zero one, what does that mean? Why am I getting some funky results? It's just three, and then it's just, you have one choice. Am 
the three total number you have one choice Am I counting? C oh, mm, that shouldn't matter though, does it? Mm. I mean, it may matter if I'm off by one, but shouldn't matter. I I don't see what should be one. Hmm. Like I got worried that this is a smell, that's why. And this fixes it, but I um this should be one. Going on here, okay. So it is equal to zero. So I ignore this. Is this off? This is three factorial. Uh, well, this may be wrong. This is zero minus one. Oh, that's why. That's why. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Now I accept it. I thought it was in from the other place. Okay, fine. Because that makes sense from that context. That's a silly mistake, though. Maybe there's another one, because it took me a while. Just tell me I'm wrong or right. Okay. Time limit exceeded. That I did not expect. Huh? Not even a big input. Almost quick on submit again. I mean, it's not that bad. It's only a test bit. <clears throat> I don't do that many multiplications. I guess I could fix counts. Um, like I, I, I don't have to do counts, but that's what am I doing? What? How can I possibly do anything that uh that expensive? This is just linear type of things. Did I miss something? I might everywhere. Huh? I am stumped. I mean, I could do some optimization to get rid of some stuff, but I don't think that's the big thing. How can it possibly? Huh? It doesn't even took that take that long. I might go do some cheating thing, but I don't even know if that would help. I mean, this is just like a, a quick loop, right? Hmm, does that even help? Like, I can remove counts. I know that I could do it. What? You, you gotta be kidding me. Hmm. I mean, that's a, 
That's a silly wrong answer though. Is that really it? I can't but like really? Did I do nothing else? I guess so. Wow, lead code, you really outdone yourself. I mean, is there another way to do it? Am I being silly? And with that thing, it with the uh, with this outside the loop, it takes. I mean, I mod everything. What? I'm so confused. Hmm. I guess I'll put it like this, but I don't know why that needs to be the case. The pre processing. Huh. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. Uh, all right. Uh, let me uh, post some stuff in my thing. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, the uh, explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.